Hi guys, this is Daniel Alexander Cannon, and I have something. I, I've just got to show you something that um, is. I'm not going to say exactly what it is, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to just. Well, let me just tell you, okay? Okay, the 2024 Great Eclipse on 8 April, right? And you know that I've been talking about when the true new year begins, okay? Because in, well, let me show you. In the occult video, the animated video, I Pet Goat, okay? You can see the Antichrist figure, okay, who is birthed. Here's the birth right here. Okay, he's birthed out of the symbolic birth canal on the water, and he's behind him. Everything is frozen. It's ice. Everything is stationary in time almost, except for the fact that the the temple starts falling. Okay. Now, why am I showing you this? Okay, look at his eyes. You will see fire, right? And then, of course, when the scene turns around, of course, you can see all the tsunami of a major city and all of this. And then when he turns around, this is the scene. Now, why am I mentioning this about April 8th and the eclipse? Well, I'm going to show you. Okay, you see, see the symbolism of Scorpio? the constellation of Scorpio over here, Scorpion's tail. You can see symbology for his claw here and so on, right? And you can see over here, you can see symbolism for an archer that's pointing more downward in this direction here, an archer. And then you can see at the very top, but you can't quite see it in this player for some reason, but there is a there is an image of a bird, Aquila, the constellation Aquila up here. Okay. And then you've got the sun pulsating. And then when it goes past this, you got all that going on when it goes past this scene. And of course you've got during this scene, you've got asteroids coming in. Let me see if I can turn off my <clears throat> sound. So it's not blasting us. Okay, and let me just play it here. I'll just play it from here. You got to keep watching. I'm going to show you something that's going to, you just keep watching. You'll see. Okay, see the, the strikes coming in and the pyramid going down, the fall of Babylon. Okay, that's what that is. That's the fall of Babylon. It's like fireballs or meteors, or they could be symbolism for something else flying through the heavens. ICBMs, maybe. I'm not sure. I can't say for sure. But as soon as this scene's over with, of course, you get this scene. the scene of an eclipse, okay? And something coming over and sliding in during the eclipse. Could that be a comet that we're going to see in the sky? The comet that's called the Devil's Comet is supposed to be to the upper left of the eclipse that's going to be in the heavens um, coming up here on April 8th. You're supposed to be able to see... Um, what's called the Devil's Comet, coming in on April in the sky during the eclipse of totality. Um, we're supposed to be able to see it. And here we have this thing coming in from the upper left, and them showing an eclipse. And they're showing this information here 
to give us what the rest of the sky will look like. There will be Scorpio and there will be Sagittarius. And then there's the Golden Gate right in between the two. Okay. All right. Now, this is where it's going to hurt your head a little bit. But I'm going to show it to you. Uh, let's open this up. All right. Now, take a look at what is in the sky that is rising in the sky on the morning of 4-8, the day of the eclipse in 2024, okay? Take a look at what is rising in the morning time. Here, let me show you another one here. And it gets more interesting. Just hang on, watch this. On 4-8, the day of the eclipse, we've got Scorpio and, and Sagittarius, right? You see it right there. Now, there it is right here. And then you have something coming in from the upper left, moving in from the upper left. See? Is that the Devil's Comet doing that, or is that something else? And what's up with all the... The, uh, the meteors and destruction coming in at this moment. But what is this moment? Because we've said that, and I've talked about that it was at the, at the New Year's, right? Well, let me go find it. They're right here. That there would be a major event. There is North Korea playing out. Okay, you can see the North Korean flag that was on the ground there, the yin yang symbol. And here's this going on. And here's New Year's, the top hat and the kazoo blowing. Now, I've wondered, is this New Year's in uh, the Gregorian calendar, like our normal New Year's that we think of, uh, December 31st? Or is it the actual uh, Hebrew New Year's, you know, the language that Christ spoke, okay? Well, uh, let me show you this. This is going to hurt your head. This is going to hurt your head. All right. Okay, let me open this one. Okay, guess what date... New Year's is on the Hebrew calendar this year, which is what our pet goat is based on. It is Monday, 8 April 2024, and it ends at nightfall on Tuesday, 9 April 2024. That is the beginning of the New Year's at sundown. On the day of the eclipse, it is the first day of the new year. It is the new year. And what happens on the new year? The things that I pet goat, the apple drops. Can't answer that right now. You got all this symbolism going on. The apple dropping. Hitting the floor, rolling across, the atom splits, and a mushroom cloud comes up. All the stuff I've been telling you about for years. And it appears, it appears that we are looking at, and I'm not going to just, I'm, I got to come back. I, I got to look at this more. I got to study it more. But right now, to be quite honest with you, and I need your help with this, I'm a month overdue on my internet bill, and my electricity on my house is likely going to go out tomorrow. And I got like $10 in my account. I should not have to be dealing with this. Worrying about whether my internet's going to go out, whether my electricity is going to go out. And I don't care. I know there's people out there that hate everything. And they don't think that there should be somebody out here doing this kind of work. Well, I think there should be somebody. And I think that this is a good example of it. 
because I've just shown you that the true New Year's that's depicted in I Pet Goat is on April 8th, going into April 9th, during the eclipse. Now, what did, what happened on the crucifixion day of Christ? There was an eclipse. It went dark midday, lasted for about three hours. Started getting dark, got real dark, got daylight again. An eclipse. What does the, the good book say about the end? What the end would be like? The sun, uh, the, the sun would go dark and the moon would not give its light. And what is, is an eclipse? An eclipse is exactly that. I need to be working on this stuff. But right now, all I am is, yes, I'm working dead ahead, but I'm having to deal with being concerned that I'm literally not going to have electricity or be able to do my work. Here's another version of that. The first of Nissan. This is biblical. Okay. This is Moses. And... Where, it's, where the, the Hebrews were told when their new year would start, okay? When their new year would start. It's, to be, it's New Year's Eve starts on the, on the 8th of April, and the 9th of April is New Year's. It's 1 Nisan 5784, the beginning of the religious year. I hope y'all guys see the importance of what I'm showing you. It's, I'm not going to say ultimately what I think about it in this video. I just wanted you to know that the date of this right here is upon us. This is upon us. Do you know that this point in the sky, let me show you this again. Where's it at? I got it. Here we go know that this point in the sky is called the Golden Gate. Right in here. This is called the Golden Gate in between the Sagittarius and Scorpio. Scorpius, it's Scorpio, Scorpius. It's called the Golden Gate right in here. And we're going to have an eclipse that's going to align on it. Do you understand the significance of this? All right. I've got to run to town, try to, got to charge the battery on the piece of crap car that we've got. I've got to go to town. And when I come back, I'm going to be working on this some more and try to put out another video. But I hope that y'all guys will have a renewed interest in supporting my work. My work, I work for a father. That's what I do. I've dedicated my life to it. And I work for y'all guys. I've invested all my effort into teaching y'all guys what I've been able to learn because y'all guys allow me to do this when you contribute to my work. All the links are below, down below the video, PayPal, Cash App, Venmo, Zelly, where you can transfer directly from account to account. I'm not asking for much, maybe a dollar. How about that? Just a dollar. Or if you can do more so I so I can get this uh, internet bill paid, which is $100 a month, uh, or maybe I can keep the electricity on, I would greatly appreciate it. And I think that our Father in Heaven would appreciate it too. All right, guys, I love you. I'll get back with you again soon. I've, I'm all over this.